We are on location from Grand Island at the Skills USA event for this special edition of the Week in Review. Welcome to the Week in Review at the Nebraska Department of Education. I'm David Jesperson, Public Information Officer for NDE. Thank you so much for watching this brief update. The goal over the next few minutes is to fill you in on some of the news, notes, and events that have happened this week involving NDE. And we are on location this week at the Heartland Events Center in Grand Island, showcasing the Skills USA Nebraska State Leadership and Skills Conference. Hundreds of students from across the state are competing in a wide variety of career and technical education events, from cabinet making to cosmetology, baking to basic health care, and everything in between. We'll talk more about Skills USA in just a moment. First, though, it has been a very busy couple of weeks, including a packed board meeting as members got their first look at the proposed revisions to the state social studies standards. Staff presented the revisions and the department is now seeking input from the public. The draft standards outline the expectations for what students will learn in civics, economics, geography, and history for grades K through 12 in order to be college, career, and civic ready upon high school graduation. Approval of the standards is expected in the fall of 2019. The board also approved grants for 10 new 21st century community learning centers. 13 locations also received approval to continue their existing programs. Sydney Jensen presented to the board as the 2019 Teacher of the Year. Sydney has traveled quite a bit already, including a trip to California to meet with other Teachers of the Year, and she'll be headed to Washington, D.C. soon as part of her duties as Teacher of the Year. Nebraska's Milken Educator Award winner Becky Streff also addressed the board after her surprise presentation earlier this year. She's been busy planning upcoming professional development and presentation trips and spoke about what she will do as a Milken winner, also known as the Oscars of teaching. Finally, in board news, members approved a resolution commending schools for tenacity, resilience, and stability provided after the catastrophic floods in Nebraska. Board members also committed to working with schools to overcome any and all challenges presented by those recent storms. More than 90 public school districts were impacted in some way, and nearly 200 schools were closed, affecting more than 34,000 students. Well, April is also a very busy month for students. Many around the state were recognized for their leadership in language learning with World Language Distinguished Scholar Awards as part of World Language Week. Student organizations were also very active with several leadership conferences and competitions like this one here at Skills USA. The month started with thousands of students heading to Lincoln for the state FFA conference. Students in the agriculture-based organization competed in events and were presented awards at the Pinnacle Bank Arena. Immediately following FFA at the same location, the Family, Career and Community Leaders of America or FCCLA conference took place. Students also competed in events, attended speeches, and took part in the awards presentation. While those two groups met in Lincoln, the Nebraska FBLA, or Future Business Leaders of America, held their state conference and competition in Omaha. And that brings us to Grand Island, where more than 2,000 students, teachers, and business leaders have gathered for the Nebraska Skills USA competition. Participants are competing in more than 100 hands-on skills and leadership contests that are developed with the help of local business and industry to test real-life skills that translate to a skilled workforce. There's a little bit of everything here as students show off their abilities as electricians, chefs, mechanics, programmers, and much more. First place winners will get to participate in the National Skills USA Championships in June. Thank you for tuning in to this Week in Review on location at the Heartland Event Center. We'll see you next time with the latest news from NDE.